this two minutes, one minute, or did we even take a break? get the stats that quick that'd be great thank you 20 seconds Gulf Coast State College, the national champions, the Lady Commodores. They came in as the number one seed. They made it hold up. And they've got, uh, they've got the hardware now and the caps and the T-shirts. They've got all the gear. And uh, they're an experienced team, and they're going to win back-to-back -back national championships. And the fifth national championship beginning back in 2003, 08, 10, and now 16 and 17, they have won it all. And Trinity Valley, of course, nothing to hang their head about. A great tournament. And they, uh, under head coach Gerald Ewing, and they have uh, made their 22nd national tournament appearance here in this tournament. And they've won eight championships over their, over their history of their school. But uh, it's really Gulf Coast State College and uh, Coach Mary, uh, Rooney Scoville, who is, uh, she may become legendary right here, what she's doing, doing a fantastic job with this program and uh, this team out of Panama City, Florida, and they are the national champions. And here come the final stats of the ball game. We'll try to wrap that up and get you out of here. It's been a fun week here on NJCAA TV, and these uh, ball games have all come to an end here in this one. And it uh, really, John, it was all in the first quarter. It started out with Gulf Coast uh, State jumping out on Trinity Valley, and they never made it up. They never got back in. It was 24 to 9 at the end of the first, and they, they never closed it any. I think 10 is the closest they got. They, they never did get down to single digits. And, uh, but, again, you got to give a lot of credit to Gulf Coast because Trinity Valley played a great second half. Yeah. I mean, they really – they scored 21 in the first half. They scored 40, uh, two, 41 in the second half. And so they did what they had to do offensively, but not, I mean, you're playing the number one seed and, and yeah. rightfully so, the defending champion. And they had a lot of those, all the guards were back from last year. And uh, so just a, a, a tremendous job of uh, taking care of business. On the name the of the all tournament team, I think, as well here as well and uh, of course a lot of great players here this week and uh, we got a chance to watch many of them play let me give you the final numbers here in scoring for these two teams first off for trinity valley uh, chris uh, cristal alliance had 16 these will be the official numbers naomi davenport with 11 shaquilla fowler with 15 two for McK malaysia McHenry, 10 for jordan alexander and uh, four points for dominique mills five points for deja daniel for the trinity valley uh, basketball team, the uh, Lady Cardinals. And for Gulf Coast, the Lady Commodores, they were led in scoring here tonight by Shayla Bennett with 21, but they had five players in double figures. Let me just give them all to you. Ty Purifoy with 7, 11 for Taylor Emery. Uh, Bert O'Neill had 12, 14 for Maria Castro. Uh, Jalea, Green, Jalea Dunlap had 18 points in the ball game. Those 21 by Shayla Bennett and Lasagna Edwards had four for Gulf Coast. Well, I don't know for sure if we're watching the, uh, if you want to, if we're keeping it here for the all tournament team, I don't think that we are. And the guys in the in the production room, if you'll tell me we, uh, oh, we are staying here, good. Well, I appreciate it. I want to sign us out of here. We're still showing the national tournament. I'm probably talking over the whole deal and I don't have a list of the names that they're calling out. But I do know that uh, Taylor Emery just got called for Gulf Coast State off the championship ball game. And prior to her, uh, the, uh, the ones that uh, have gone out there from Trinity Valley are uh, number 11, Sha Shaquilla Fowler, and number 5, 
is out there, uh, Naomi Davenport. And I can't see all the other players. Would know if I could see them a little better out there. Also on the team is uh, uh, Maria Castro. Congratulations to Ma Ma Maria Castro. And I think that great passion and sportsmanship, the sportsmanship award going to be awarded to one of the programs that was here. Lyndon Harden out on the floor. And also uh, thanks to those guys. And also uh, visit Lubbock and Lubbock Sports, Scott Harrison, Chris Rohr. And now the uh, runner-up trophy goes to Trinity Valley Community College. They finish the year 30 and 6 on the year for Coach Gerald Ewing. And a tremendous showing here in this year's tournament. I know that there's disappointment there, Coach. When you come in here and you, want, you expect to win it all, you want to win it all, you know you've got a really good team. But, uh, you know, after it's over, they get away from it for a day or two or three, and they'll look back at this tremendous season that they had and be very proud of what they were able to accomplish this year. Well, if they felt good about this, as you could see, the pain and the suffering, the tears. If they felt good about losing a championship game, they wouldn't have got here. You know <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you're right about that. So there, it's gonna, it's gonna sting for a while. But you know, I had a coach tell me one time that if you have to lose, the championship game's not the worst place. A nice place to it, go do it. Yeah, <laughs> if you have to lose. Yeah. And one of these teams was gonna lose, and. Uh, that's yep. a, I wish I had a picture of that out there. Trinity Valley is out on the floor. And I don't know whether you've got it on yeah. TV. I see, you You know, we've got injured players. And, of course, that were probably a big loss to the team. But what's really looks good is, is Fowler's out there on the floor. And she's in the in the kind of the middle, number 11. And her head, all the others have their arms up high. And she's uh, at five, whatever she is, five, one or two. It's a... Uh, Hard for her to reach up there. You can see the difference in in, in really uh, in li her and lines. There's quite a difference there. But the trophies are being handed out. There's Joe Tubb as I as we talk about him. He's actually walking out here. I don't know what we we got the air gun out yeah, on we got, the floor. We, we got to get the uh, confetti going here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. we're fixing those. Light it up when they bring the national champions. Out on the floor, Scott Harrison, Joe Tubb, right there. I feel really good with those two guys running the machinery. I'm afraid we're going to get uh, bombarded here if uh, yeah. Harrison has anything to say about it. Congratulations to Gulf Coast State College from Panama City. Coach Rooney Scoville <laughs> walks up and calls her team to come along. Now they can give them individuals all in right there. Now I think it's time to turn on the confetti. Here, here we go. Uh, thought I saw a move there. There we go. And here it comes. It's a pretty cool deal. Paul Heiss, the director of athletics here at Lubbock Christian University on one end. Got They'll you. walk it up. That's cool how that uh, how that happens here. Look how that's gold. Usually it's red, white, and blue. Uh, we got a little red and blue in there. Hey, look. <laughs> that's cool. I knew he had turned it over this way. Yeah. That's a neat deal that they're doing here. This, you know, that's one thing here in, in Lubbock and at LCU and in Lubbock, Texas, uh, they're trying to do it, and, uh, I mean, they give great effort to give these kids a tremendous experience, these young people, as they come here and compete in this NJCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship. It's a big deal, I'm well, telling you, and we treat it like it's a big deal, and uh, congratulations. I've been experienced enough at other places, no comparison, no comparison at all when you look at all the 
conference championships, the regional championships, and what Lubbock does and what's done right here with Lubbock Sports is just unbelievable. And I mean, even hospitality rooms yeah. and everything else is far and beyond where you what you get anywhere else. The dinners and everything else that we have, and uh, the, just the way that they put it together, and credit to uh, Lyndon Harden, Joe Tubb, and uh, getting his. And, I, and I think Mickey was the oh, one. Mickey Rogers with Bud Ruckers. Oh yeah, he did. Uh, he might have. I think every meal yeah, here, except at, for the opening night out of Kegel State. Yeah, but here in the hospitality at, at, room. The hospitality room, chicken fried steaks up there when I went up a while ago, and. Uh, he just does a great job. Are they still up there? Well, I'm hoping they are. <laughs> we may have to hang around and uh, spend a little time up there when all this is said and done. But uh, the individual trophies now being presented to the team from Gulf Coast State, the uh, Lady Commodores, and I think it <coughs> would be uh, fitting to list these national champions that are getting the uh, individual trophies in the national championship from Gulf Coast State College, Janisha Green, a 5'6 freshman from Sampson, Alabama. Number 11, Raven Fox, a 5'8 sophomore, Blandensburg, <coughs> uh, Maryland. Number 20, Ty Purifoy, 5'1 sophomore from Pensacola, Florida. Number 21, Taylor Emery, a 5'10 sophomore from Tampa, Florida. Number 22, Bird O'Neill, a 5'8 sophomore, Winter Haven, Florida. Number 24, Shayla Bennett, 5'9 freshman from Piedmont, South Carolina. 30 is Maria Castro, 5'11 sophomore, Guanajuato, Mexico. Number 32, Jalea Dunlap, a 6'2 freshman. Now that'll make you feel good. <coughs> Dunlap's coming back from Columbia, South Carolina. Number 40, Lasagna Edwards, 6' sophomore from Fort Richard, Richard sophomore from Fort Pierce, Florida. Number 44, Tatiana Bell, a 5'8", red shirt uh, sophomore from Panama City, Cal uh, Florida. And number 52, Kennedy Russian, uh, a 6'7", sophomore from Atlanta, Georgia. Red shirts are a Amanda Pascal, uh, Fatou Diagne, and uh, Kiana Jeter. And the head coach, Rooney Scoville, Grover Hicks, Austin Mefford, Paige McCallum, Jimmy Powell, and Jody Powell are the assistant coaches. President Dr. John Hold Holdnack and Rooney Scoville is also the director of athletics for Gulf Coast State. You see them there all together, the national champion, Gulf Coast State Lady Commodores. Want to thank all of our great sponsors. Thanks to uh, to Spalding and uh, what they do, and also over to uh, to Crossover Intelligence and and what they do as well, and all of our great sponsors, and everybody's hard work on this tournament. Coach John Hill, thank you for being here. These were fun. It's a fun day doing these final two ball games. Yeah, it's a privilege. We get to be a part of something very special, and I enjoy. You just do a great job. You handle everything. You adjust whatever needs to be adjusted to, so you're in the right position. <laughs> Thanks for letting me hang around. Just keep it going. That's right. Well, I'm glad to have you by my side. I can tell you that. For Coach John Hill, for – I'm David Thetford for everybody involved with the broadcast with NJC AA TV, the national champions, Gulf Coast State College. Congratulations to them. They beat Trinity Valley 87 to 63. They're the national champions. We're all done. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it.
take a picture with one of the girls because that's gonna be me. The girl from the MTV one. Because that's gonna be me. And I'm gonna look like I'm taking a picture with one of the girls. <laughs> this one is gonna be the bad one. <laughs> Sarah Scott. 